Hey, what's up, Reefers? We're gonna try something a little bit different today. Instead of filming with my Canon S95 point and shoot camera, I'm gonna use my Fujifilm X100S. Um, as you can see, well, actually, you probably cannot see it. Um, this camera is a fixed focal length, length, meaning that I cannot zoom in and out. Um, it's set at this distance, and while filming, I'm trying to manual focus at the same time. So you may notice that the focus may not be spot on, like how I kind of over focus. I went too far, I had to dial back a little bit. So I'm still very much tweaking this. But anyways, t for today I want to talk about the latest edition I have. The Rose Bubble Tip Anatomy right there. So I picked up that guy about two weeks ago from a local reverse. Uh, it's about 2.5 inches in diameter and I got him for $30 which is a great price consider how much it used to cost. Uh, when I was still into reefing a while back um, these guys go for a lot actually because they're because a lot of people love them and who can blame them I mean they look beautiful but because supplies is, because it's, um, demand is so much and everybody started trying to split the anatomies they're uh, there are a lot out there right now, so the price have really come down. And this one I got is just a standard rose bubble tip anatomy, nothing fancy. Uh, it has a nice pink tip, uh, darker maroonish color uh, oral disc, and lower portion of the tentacles. Um, just a really standard rose bubble tip anatomy. And in general, bubble tip anatomy uh, pretty hardy. And I thought it'd be a good addition to my tank, my 45 gallon cube tank, um, because. Other types of anatomy may grow too big for my tank. And down the road, I may try something different once my um, water chemistry is completely stable. But for now, I feel that a bubble, bubble tip anatomy will probably do best in my tank um, until later on. So in the future, I do hope to find a pair of clowns. I am looking for the Mocha Vinci um, design clown. Usually I'm not a big fan of design clowns, but those guys are gorgeous. They look natural except the white band has a nice brush-like pattern to them. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for a pair of Mocha Vinci to host in this uh, Rose Bubble Tip Anatomy. And there's, a, there's, also, there's also a huge question of like, why do Bubble Tip, why, why do bubble tip Anatomy bubble up? And how come some don't? Uh, there are a lot of different speculations out there. Um, some people think it has to do with like, the amount of light versus how high a flow rate um, the area of the Bubble Tip Anatomy is sitting at um, and honestly I don't think anybody really quite cracked the code yet um, some people say that maybe they bubble up so to increase surface area um, for the hosted algae um, to absorb more light and for the tentacle to kind of like keep away from each other to to kind of inflate expand the surface area instead of stacking together like this um, some people say that maybe if the bubble tip anatomy is hungry, the tentacle will become like stringy like this to kind of help people uh, help it capture prey. Um, and again, there's no definite answer yet. So for now, you know, it just it's just kind of like a big myth. And right now, I try to feed this guy maybe like once or twice, um, wait, once a day or like once every other day. Uh, basically, whenever I feed my Bengai cardinal fish, I squirt a little bit of. Um, Mice shrimp into the anatomy too. I look at an ammo crab. Just casually strolled up to the anatomy, poked it until it closes, and then tried to slide away like nothing happened. I saw you. But yeah, that ammo crab has been getting large and has been kind of going around knocking things over. So I don't know. The time, the time in this tank for him has maybe a little bit limited. We'll see. And one interesting thing about this anatomy is that it kind of walked over that big piece of rock um, until it settled. Like, it started from over here near the center, walked downwards, moved to the back of the rock, hung out in the back for like a day or two, and then I'm really glad that it kind of went to the top of this rock and come back around until it kind of tucked its foot underneath this random piece of rock. And they have a tendency to kind of like sucked onto the, the roof of this rock, this little cave, and then extend out. But anyways, um, 
this anemone is still pretty new into in the tank, like 1.5 to 2 weeks. And I'm gonna give it like another week or two to kind of settle in. Um, and by then, I hopefully that it will be completely acclimated and start it opening up a lot more. Oh, by the way, I also turned down the Radeon um, to, I think, 25% from the previous 50% so that the anemone has a chance to kind of acclimate. And the fact that I think it's a good sign that anemone is kind of reaching up towards the lights. And he has been in the same spot for about a week already. So I think it's good. It has a really good chance of staying put um, and acclimate to the light as it turn up in intensity over time. All right, and this has been a quick report on my latest edition, the Rose Bubble Tip Anatomy. See you next time.